Hey, what's up, guys? Tech Titan here, and I am back again with a brand new video. So, as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There are a couple of links in the description below that have my Instagram, my Facebook. Make sure you follow me there for more updates and more content. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me on Instagram. I answer them fairly quickly. So with that being said, today we're going to talk about the TCL Stylus 5G. So there's a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started okay so let's go ahead and start with the design itself so this phone is made out of plastic all the way around so other than the display of course and the back has this kind of a sandstone look just like from the oneplus one if you remember that so it looks cool it looks nice however the when you touch it and feel it it's not really sandstone it's just this kind of a slippery type of material that that it has on the back so on the back you have a quad camera setup we're going to talk about the cameras in a little bit too so stay tuned for that on the bottom of the phone you have a couple of things you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, i'm really glad that, are, that uh, a lot of budget phones are keeping that so that's really nice to have a microphone your usb-c that supports fast charging the bottom facing speaker and as well as the main highlight of the phone which is the stylus so on the right hand side you do have the power button as well as the volume up and down and the power button also has these little sl so it has texture so you can tell between it and the volume up and down and it also houses your fingerprint sensor now what i like about the sides of the phone is that it ha they have these little ridges on the side to help with the grip so definitely provides grip however because the back is so slippery i still do recommend the case uh, a lot of, i know some people don't like to put cases on their phones some people would rather just go with a screen protector and keep it moving so with that being said let's go ahead and cover the display so here you have a nicely large and very tall 6.81 inch display and the resolution is 2460 by 1080p so first of all this is a large phone no doubt about it and as far as the display quality it's it's good so it's a decent ips panel however i wish it was just a little bit brighter outdoors but it's fairly bright i think it's better than the um moto g stylus 5g that i did a video on i'll leave it in the description below and like i said it's a decent display i actually like it it's pretty good and it does what it does well and also when it comes to content consumption it's because of the large screen when you actually zoom into your content it will kind of crop quite a bit so keep that in mind but content consumption on here on here is really nice so if you want to watch movies tv shows and things of that nature or my videos you know you know what i mean so it's nice as far as the speaker though it's the other way around Looks so take a listen real quick overall, i like it so on the back you also have a triple camera setup which we will talk about in a little bit as well so you have a main sensor of a 50 megapixel you also have a ultra wide and a depth sensor and you also have so the speaker is doesn't get as loud as i would like it to be and it, it, it kind of distorts anyway so i wish it was just louder however the problem can be solved with some decent quality headphones now let's circle back and talk about the quad camera setup so you have a main sensor of a 50 megapixel sensor and you also have a 5 megapixel 115 degrees ultra wide you have a 2 megapixel macro sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor so the camera interface is really simplistic straight to the point um it's what you would expect and it takes pictures really quickly as far as uh, as far as photo quality i'm still in the works of actually doing a full dedicated camera review on this phone so if you want to see that be sure to give me a thumbs up or leave it or leave it in the comments below so that we can make it happen so you can also record 1080p but it only maxes out at 30 frames per second so you cannot get 4k or 1080p 60 frames per second keep that in mind so now moving on to specs and the performance of this phone okay so let's start and talk about paper specs so this phone has a octa-core processor where two cores are clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and the other six cores are 2 gigahertz and the processor of choice that tcl went with is a mediatek get this mediatek mt6833 dimensity uh 700 and it is based on a 7 nanometer architecture so yeah it's it's a long name for a processor it is what it is and the gpu is the mali g57 mc2 gpu you also get a uh, standard 128 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of ram but 
with all numbers aside, the actual the actual day to day performance of this phone is really smooth and really intuitive. So it doesn't necessarily use a pure stock Android experience, but the additions that TCL decided to go with is pretty uh, pretty useful at times. So for example, get this. Let's say that you have let's say that you have a couple of folders in your home screen and you go to the first folder so for example the google folder you can actually switch between folders within what's called like a folder interface so you can switch between them instead of happen having to exit out one folder and go to the next folder so that's really neat for organizing now i also did a geekbench so that gave me the following scores so a single core of 556 and a multi-core of seven uh, of 1751 which are respectable scores and overall the performance of this phone is pretty fluid pretty smooth gets a thumbs up from me on an initial review so now let's talk about the highlight of this device which is the stylus so the stylus gives you many options um, it, and it does come with like a few apps that are courtesy of TCL just like uh, so that are courtesy from TCL, for example, the MyScript calculator, I think that's a useful way to use the stylus. And you also have what's called the e-signature. So if you want to sign documents using the stylus, then that's also a neat touch. And just as an additional tool to your device, if you want to use it, it's there and it's not there if you don't want to use it. So that's really all I have to say about the stylus. And for some reason, TCL does have an app for locking the phone instead of hitting the power button okay <laughs> really weird flex but okay all right and the actual feature that i like that it's integrated within the design of this phone is how secure the stylus is once you put it back in so there are magnets that allow you to secure the stylus in and there has been a couple of issues with other phones such as the moto g stylus and the Moto G Stylus 5G and even the LG Stylus 6 from way back in the day where the stylus would fall out. So luckily TCL found a solution which is magnets. Mind's blown. Okay. So in conclusion off of our initial review the design is a little bit I can you can call it like stale and outdated however it does have neat little features here and there just like the ridges on the side the magnets on the bottom of, or on the bottom where you take and put in the stylus and just other little things that make the phone kind of special or kind of give you useful useful features but like the actual look of the phone it is kind of stale so that's for design so everything else kind of falls together really nicely if i would say so myself with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for more content.